This episode of the Lunch with Chris show is brought to you by my upcoming book, 30 Days to Limitless. You can find out more about it at Limitless30.com. This podcast is certified fresh. Freshmediaworks.com. Welcome to the Lunch with Chris show, where your host, Chris Daly, talks with movers and shakers from all walks of life to get their opinions on important questions. Each season, there is a new question and new guests. This short, impactful show skips all the fluff and just brings you insightful answers from great guests. And now, doing his part to change the world in a positive way, your host, Chris Daly. All right, I want to welcome Hugh Forrest to the show. Hugh is the guy behind South by Southwest Interactive. So if you could, first off, welcome, Hugh. Thank you. It's, it's a great pleasure to be here. I appreciate you having me on. Oh, you bet. If you could, for for the one or two people who have been living in a cave and don't know what South by Southwest Interactive is, can you explain what what it's all about? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm sure there's quite a few people who are, are not uh, completely familiar <laughs> with what we do. We are a five-day celebration of uh, creativ- creativity, innovation, inspiration, uh, particularly related to the, the tech world. Um, we uh, we occur every Austin, every March in Austin. Um, we bring together about thirty thousand digital creatives from all over the U.S. and all around the world. Uh, we'll have somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand uh, panels and presentations. Somewhere in the neighborhood of three thousand speakers. Uh, lots of different companies. Lots of different. Uh, brands, the bottom line to everything we do is it's very, very creative people thinking about how to use technology to increase their creativity. Nice, nice. I, I go to a lot of conferences around the country and, and been going to Interactive since 2008 when I moved to the Central Texas area, and I have to say it is by far my favorite because there's so many creative you know, amazing people that show up there. Well, uh, I really appreciate the nice words. Yeah, what we specialize in is uh, sensory overload, and usually that's <laughs> a good thing. Um, the idea is you bring together, again, a whole lot of people who are doing really interesting things. Uh, you bring them into a city that that uh, always has celebrated creativity, uh, have this happen in March when spring is just starting, and kind of stand back and watch all the uh, all the cool things that happen, new ideas, new relationships, new businesses, um, new friendships, all kinds of neat things. You bet. You bet. All right. Well, let's jump right into our question of the season. I want to get your take on this. If if a teenager were to walk up to you and say, Hugh, I'm about to embark on my career, my life, whatever, what advice could you give that person? I think my advice is uh, to try to remember that um, your career, your life, your adulthood is, in fact, a lifelong journey. And, and what you think you're going to be when you're 18 or 20 or 23 um, is probably not what you're going to be 10 or 15 years later, and, and that's fine. Uh, I certainly had no idea or no concept that I would be working on this event called South by Southwest when I was uh, – when I was growing up, I, I, my idea has always been to uh, my my career goal has always been a, to be a writer, and I still hope that I will become a writer when I grow up <laughs> at some point. Um, but uh, you know, enjoy the journey, um, embrace the journey. Uh, don't be afraid to um, to uh, follow all the twists and turns. That's part of the magic. Some of the twists will not be good. Some of the other twists will be good. But, um, again, be open and fluid to whatever changes there are because uh, we do change over time. And what we think we want when we're younger, we may not want when we're older. <laughs> and, um, you know, I think that in some ways that parallels uh, a lot of what we talk about these days at South by Southwest, that you have so many more people who are interested in um, – 
startups and startup culture and that startup ecosystem. And one of the things that the startup ecosystem really celebrates and, and champions is this idea of moving from career to career to career. And uh, this is a little bit opposed to um, when our parents grew up or our grandparents, and they may have had one job for 30 or 40 or 50 years. And, and we're in a, a, a situation and a economy and a society now where that's probably not realistic and that's probably a good thing. You, you, you do change jobs a lot and, um, uh, that can lead to a lot of very positive and beneficial results. Awesome. I, I love that advice because I too have gone through many incarnations of myself. I was going to be a football coach when I was 18 years old and now I do marketing for a living. Thank you. So, uh, Nice. <laughs> so, so tell me, uh, what do you have coming up? What can we look for? I know, I know South by Southwest Interactive. It's always something new, whether it's Foursquare coming out or Twitter coming out or, or something cool like that. What do you, what do you know is going to be happening in the future? Uh, what do we know? Uh, the only thing we can say for certain is that there will be lots of innovative and creative people coming to Austin next March for <laughs> next year's event. One of the big uh, the big um, buzz companies out of this year's event was Meerkat, which is this live uh, mm-hmm. video streaming app that gained a lot of buzz during the event. Um, and I, I think we'll see a lot more applications like that in the next couple of years. Um, you know, South by Southwest is a place that uh, we're a preview of the future. So things that happen in Austin in March. You may not really hear too much about them again for another couple of years, but um, again, great way to, to, to preview that by coming to South by Southwest. Otherwise, we've got our uh, Las Vegas event coming up in July. This is South by Southwest V2V. It, it happens July 19th to 22nd at the Bellagio in Las Vegas. And then nice. uh, we start working on um, where we've already started working on the 2016 event. That's March 11th through 15th, 2016 in beautiful Austin, Texas. You bet. And it certainly is. We, we've had such a good uh, rainy winter that the blue bonnets are amazing. Definitely. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. All righty, Hugh, I, I want to thank you again for uh, taking the time to sit down with us and, and sharing your insights. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for having me on uh, on the show. It's a great pleasure to uh, to be highlighted like this. You bet. Thank you so much. Thank you.